Example three, given f of x is equal to two x and g of x is equal to three x squared plus one, find f of g of four, g of f of two, and g of g of zero. All right, so let's talk about how we would do this, okay? Um, let's concentrate on part A, okay? So we're gonna try to find f of g of four, Okay, so basically the function involved here is f of g. Once you have that function, you need to plug in an x value of four to get the output, okay? So what we've learned from the prior examples in this section is that we can go ahead and form f of g and then plug in four and be done, okay? So let's, I'm gonna go to the top and do this, okay? So we've got our two functions, okay? Um, so we're forming f of g, okay? So this is gonna be f of g of x, okay? So here, f is the outside function, g is the inside function. So we're basically plugging g into f, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and write down my outside function. My outside function is 2x. And instead of substituting a number, I'm gonna substitute an entire function. So I'm gonna circle my x. Everywhere I see an x, I'm going to replace it with g of x, which is three x squared plus one, okay? That entire quantity, okay? So this is going to be, instead of two times x, it's gonna be two times the entire quantity, three x squared plus one, Okay, and then if you simplify this to get the simplified function f of g, you're gonna get, distribute the two, you're gonna get six x squared plus two. Okay, so that's the function. Okay, that's f of g of x. So if you want f of g of four, okay, uh, remember what's in parentheses here, that's gonna be our x value. Okay, so you're, you're gonna substitute x equals four. Okay, so you're gonna get six, times x squared, remember the six is not squared, just the x. So you're gonna get six times four squared plus two. Okay, so this is gonna be six times four times four and then plus two. This is gonna be six times four is 24 times four is, I don't know, so I'm gonna do it to the side. Let's see, 24 times four, that's gonna be 16, carry the one, that's gonna be 96 plus two you get 98, okay? So the answer to part A is 98, okay? So you're probably wondering, well, why didn't you do it down here? Well, this is one way you can do the problem, okay? You can actually form the composite function, and then once you have it, you plug in four for x, and you're done, okay? There's an easier way that doesn't involve as much work, okay? So that's what I want to show you. It's up to you which way you do it. I don't care, okay? So let's focus on this again. We're gonna get the same answer. We're gonna get 98, okay? But here we can write this as f of g of four, okay? Now at this point, I'm gonna color code it, okay? I'm gonna put the inside stuff, okay? Inside we have g of four, okay? I'm gonna put that in green and then I'm gonna put the outside stuff in blue, okay? So the f of is the outside part, okay? So Order of operations, we always start inside parentheses, but we have a whole lot of parentheses here. So we're gonna start with the innermost part, okay? That's the G of four, okay? I'm gonna start here, okay? So ignore the F for right now, okay? I'm gonna go out to the side. If you just had G of four, that means go to the function G and plug in four for X, okay? G of X is three X squared plus one, okay? So if we substitute four for X, we're gonna get three times four squared plus one. Okay, so this is gonna be, the three is not squared, it just hangs out front. Okay, then the four is squared. Don't forget the plus one. So this is gonna be three times four is 12, times four is 48, plus one, that's 49. Okay, so G of four is 49. Okay, so this is going to equal, if I come back to f of g of four, f is still on the outside, but the quantity inside, which is g of four, it is equal to 49. Okay, 
So you're left with 49, okay? F, or sorry, you're left with F of 49. This means go to F and plug in 49 for X, okay? So if we go to our function F, F of X is two times X. We're gonna get two times, we're gonna substitute 49 for, let me, I forgot my color coding here, so let me go back and put it in blue. So we're gonna have two times, we're gonna substitute 49 for X, okay? So two times 49, that's gonna give us the 98, okay? Final answer, okay? So it's a lot easier because you don't have to form the composite function, okay? You're just first taking the number and you're plugging it into the inside function first to get an output. And then you take that result and you plug it into the outside function and you're done, okay? So let's try this method. Like I said, it's perfectly fine to go and find the composite function. And then once you have that, plug in the number to the composite function. Um, but for example, for parts B and C, I'm gonna try this shortcut method just to give you some extra practice with it, okay? All right, so in part B, okay, we're finding G of F of two. Okay, so again, you could go out and plug it, or you can form g of f, get that function, and then once you have that function, you can plug in two for x, and then that, whatever's the result, that's your answer, okay? But I'm gonna do it this other way, just to give you some options, okay? This is the same thing as g of f of two. Okay, so if I color code it, g is on the outside, okay? And then on the inside, we have f of two, which I'm putting in green. Okay, so basically G is the outside function, F is the inside function. We're first gonna plug two into the inside function. We're gonna get that result and then we're gonna plug it into G and then that will give us the final answer, okay? All right, so just reading along with what I have, I have G of F of two, okay? I'm gonna start inside the parentheses, the innermost part here. I'm gonna go out to the side and compute F of two, okay? So that's what I'm highlighted in yellow here, okay? This means go to f of x and plug in two for x. So f of x is two times x. So this is gonna be two times two. If I replace x with two, that's just four, okay? So f of two is the same thing as four, okay? Now I'm gonna pick up where I left off up here, okay? This is going to be g on the outside, f of two, which is inside in the yellow, Okay, f of two is the same thing as four. Okay, so this whole thing has turned into g of four. This means I need to go to g and plug in four for x. Okay, so g of x is three x squared plus one. Okay, so we're gonna get three times x squared, so times four squared plus one, okay. Let's simplify, this is gonna be three. The three is not squared, only the four is. Okay, so we're gonna get three times four times four plus one. This is gonna be 12 times four is 48, okay, plus one. The final answer here is 49, okay? And again, if you had gone the other route and you first formed the composite function g of f, and then once you had that, you plugged in two for x and simplified, you should get 49, okay? It's up to you, which way do you like better, okay? All right, one more, let's do g of g of zero, okay? All right, so this is gonna be g of g of zero. So g is both the inside function and the outside function. I'm gonna color code it. We've got g on the outside. On the very inside, we have g of zero, which I'm putting in green, okay? So I'm gonna start Inside the parentheses, I'm gonna go out to the side and compute g of zero. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to g. g is, g of x is three x squared plus one. Everywhere I see an x, I'm gonna replace it with zero. So we're gonna get three times zero squared plus one. This is gonna be three times zero times zero plus one. Anything times zero is zero, so we're gonna get zero plus one. This is gonna be one, okay? So g of zero is the same thing as one. Okay, so now if I go up to my previous work, I have g of g of zero. G is still gonna be on the outside, okay? But the stuff in yellow on the inside, 
g of 0, we just computed that to be 1. Okay, so the whole problem has been reduced to g of 1. Now I need to go to g and plug in 1 for x. Okay, so again, it's the same function. g of x is 3x squared plus 1. Now we're going to substitute 1 for x. So we're going to get 3 times 1 squared plus 1. This is going to give us 3 times 1 times 1 plus 1. Okay, so that's going to be 3 plus 1. So the final answer here is 4. Okay, um, I, like, I personally like this way better because I don't have to form the composite function. Okay, so again, remember what you need to do. If you do choose to use this route, you need to take your x value that's in parentheses, your number. First, plug it into the inside function to get an output. And then take that resulting output, plug it into the outside function to get an output, and then that's going to be your final answer.